At the time of recording this video, I've captured over a thousand portrait images of a diverse range of individuals. Now, while I've had a lot of success, I've definitely made a lot of mistakes as I'm continuously learning every single day. But this is my advice and the process I recommend to anyone wanting to start out in portrait photography. So let's jump into it. Discover your why, what, and when. A few months after I started shooting portraits, I fully forgot the reason why I even started photographing portraits of people. And this was an issue as my images lacked any direction and goal. I had to come back to the drawing board and remember why and who inspired me in the first place, what style of portraits I wanted to pursue, and when do I want to reach my overall goal. And you do not have to be a people person when starting out. I was very introverted and insecure when I started but now I can go up and approach anyone for a photo or yell out to organize a group shot at a wedding without even thinking about it. Another great reason why to start in portrait photography is because it can be a very profitable and rewarding career. You can get access to some pretty outstanding budgets in fashion and social media campaigns or dive into things like event and wedding photography. So just keep a note on why you want to start photographing people, what style or genre of portrait photography you want to do, and if you have an end goal, when do you want to reach that goal? So obviously you need a person to photograph. And two of my most asked questions is, how do I find models and how do I approach or reach out to these models? Starting in portrait photography is a three step process. And the first step is that you need to build a portfolio. Having and building a diverse portrait portfolio is a must, but starting out is a little bit tricky because if you don't have a portfolio, how do you show your experience to a potential model you would like to shoot with? Well, definitely the best way is to ask your family or people in your friend group if they would like to dedicate about one hour of their time for some portrait images. This is how I started out with my beautiful girlfriend Maria, but after a few practice shoots, I realized that Maria wasn't really enjoying it as she was not pursuing a career as a model. She was more than happy helping me out, but after a while it was time to move on and get some diversity in my portfolio and collaborate with people who were actually pursuing a career as a model. I've been asked if you should pay a model or an agency for your first shoot, but while this would work for sure, I think that if you have a budget to invest, you're definitely better off looking online for a portrait workshop in your area. This would not only develop a diverse portfolio with different models, environments, and lighting situations, but would dramatically improve your portrait photography skills at a very fast pace. You also don't need to go out and sign up for a website subscription. It's very controversial to say that your Instagram and your social media is your portfolio, but in reality, it is, especially when you're just starting out. One pro bonus tip is to always have a image pin or a profile picture of you. This builds trust and a familiar face, making models and agencies a lot more comfortable. Step two, build a mood board. My mistake in the past when I started was having no direction to my shoots and this not only resulted in dull and boring images, the biggest disadvantage was that I was not getting a lot of responses back from models and agencies. And that's why you should always make and send a mood board no matter the stage of your portrait photography journey. And I use a fantastic online tool called Milano. 
Now, Millinote are sponsoring this video, but I was extremely excited when they reached out as I've been paying a monthly subscription since July 2023, which is almost one year now. And I was actually using their free plan for two years prior. The most noticeable difference that has happened to me is getting a higher response rate back from models and agencies as they can clearly see the idea that I want to shoot. So let's quickly jump onto the computer and show a mood board for an upcoming shoot that I'm currently planning and also a completed shoot. All right, guys, real quick, I'm just going to show you a mood board for an upcoming shoot that I'm planning while in Bali. So this is kind of the idea of the shoot. This is all my key contact details. But down here on this board, this is actually the mood board. So if you go into the mood board, you can clearly see the type of idea and the shoot that I want to do. And this is really important for the model to see as they can decide if this is something they want to do and they're super keen, they'll reply back and you'll start planning a shoot. And then lastly, I quickly want to show you a completed shoot. So again, I've got all my ideas down here. I've got all the key contact detail. We've got our mood board here. And then on the day of the shoot, I just write a quick note where we'll meet. I'll give the address and then drop a pin as well and make it super easy for people to find me. And then this is actually how I deliver all of my final images. So I have a Google Drive link here that people can just download or if you just go into this board you can clearly see all of the images that are laid out and these are full size JPEGs so you can actually right click one of these images and go download original image so you don't have to use Google Drive you can send all your final images this way. I just want to quickly show that this is actually a template from Milanote, so it's one of their photo shoot plans. So if you click on that, that's the plan that I use and that's the template I use. All right, finally guys, Milanote is available for free with no time limit. So sign up using the link in the description and make a mood board for free before moving on to the next step of how to find and reach out to models. These are easily my two most asked questions. So starting out with how to find models. One of the best ways is actually through Instagram and to find emerging models with less experience and portfolio, go to the search tab and use the hashtag of your area followed by model. So for me, if I'm going down to Melbourne, Australia for the weekend, I would type hashtag Melbourne model and with these results i would save them into a new board within instagram and i build a collection and then i reach out in bulk this technique is great as inexperienced models with less followers or a social presence use this hashtag and are more likely to shoot with newer photographers. I also jump onto other portrait photographers pages within my area and look who are the models that they have shot with in the past and I save them as well. The next best way to find models is to jump onto local model agencies websites and look for new faces or emerging talent. These are models who have recently joined the agency that require test shoots or portfolio. Next is how to reach out and what to say so this is where your mood board comes in clutch like i said before this shows the direction for the shoot and motivates the model or agency to respond and plan a shoot with you and the key thing to mention in the first contact is that this will be a time for photos or a tfp shoot or a test shoot this clears the fact that you will not be using the shoot for any financial gain and the shoot is purely for portfolio and the images can be used anywhere with no copyright below in the description i've left an example of what to say so feel free to copy this as a template adding your own information the time of shoot the location etc etc now for instagram i send a direct message to the model from my save collection some models do have their email displayed on their profile so that's a great option and I also just comment on a recent post saying hey I'd love to plan a shoot please check your DM requests and for agencies I just send them an email via their contact page 
So that's my process for planning a portrait photography shoot. If you guys got any value from this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more portrait photography content, make sure you subscribe. And I've actually made a playlist of my portrait photography videos, which is linked here and in the description. Also guys, if you like how I edit my portrait images, then check out my Lightroom presets and for 25% off, sign up to my photography breakdown newsletter. All right, that's all. Have fun and enjoy the process. We'll see you later.